this play we wanted to make a house that the set will represent and be based in the US. So we added things that the houses in the US normally have. We added things that we each experienced in the US. So we had the living room with the TV and many video game apparatus. We added bags of fast food on the table. We added a chandelier and a small table next to the couch with a telephone or a landline. We also added many things that belong in an American house. When making the video for the actual set design, we will record the set and speak about it. We will also add some calm or uplifting music while the subtitles and the video is playing. We will explain the set in detail with our voices and afterwards just using a cursor. We will move our cursor across the stage showing where the actors can move around in the stage. We will also add some transitions and special effects to make the video more interesting. This was a set description and performance. So I will be explaining the elements of set design in our set design. So first we have texture. So we're adding texture to the set and play by adding different things that are commonly found in the American houses. Bookshelf, painting, chandelier, coffee table, and many other things. These would easily catch the audience's eyes and make them feel like they're experiencing the play. This would make the play even more realistic and the audience may also relate to the play. Then we have balance. So in terms of balance, it is important to balance out the amount of props on different parts of the stage. In our set design, we're spreading out the props evenly so that it doesn't look a little too crowded in one area. Then we have space. When it comes to space, on the set design we made, it uses up most of it. We wanted to add every little small detail such as fast food bags, or in this case a pretzel bag, on the table, which might be barely visible. But adding many small details are visible once you add many around the set, and it gives you a sort of idea of who the people are living there, or where they are living, depending on their lifestyle, or what they like to eat, or what they like to do on their free time. So then lastly, we have harmony. So the most visible things on the set will be the things that the characters most interact with, such as the couch they sit in, or the phone that they will use, and the TV in front of the couch in the living room, the doors that they go through, and the chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Of course, they're not going to interact with the chandelier, but it will be a source of light to them. So, in comparison to the small things laying around like the TV remote, a bag of chips, a gaming controller, and small variables that also play a big part in the play, but that they won't interact with as much as the other objects. And those are the elements of set design that we most thought fit in without. Many props will be required to make this set, such as a sofa, a TV, TV cabinet, TV remote, IC, pretzels, PS4 controller, phone, coffee table, chandelier, painting, bookshelf, clock, door, and a staircase. The sofa is there because in the play, the performers interact with the couch a lot, and because it is a living room, the couch is not an option but a necessity. The TV is in the set because um, it is in a living room, and most living rooms do have a TV. The TV remote comes with the TV. The TV cabinet is there to store things like DVDs and video games. Ices and pretzels are very popular snacks and drinks in America and are found in the average household. The PS4 controller is a very popular console amongst children in America. The phone in the set is used for the performers to interact with a doctor, but instead of a landline, we chose to use a digital smartphone. The coffee table is there because in most houses in general have a coffee table in the living room and in our set it was used to place the TV remote and some snacks. The chandelier is in the living room because most of the houses in America have used it as lights. The painting is in the set because most houses have paintings for decorations, especially in the United States. The shelf in the set is because most American households keep books and many other things on display in the living room. The clock is in the set because it tells the time to the performers. The door is there as an entrance for the characters to enter the stage from backstage, but in this case, it is there as the entrance to the house that the play is taking place in. The staircase is there for the actors to move around, and like in the rumors set, they move up and down the stairs quite a few times.